These videos are offered on a pay-what-you-like basis. You can pay for the use of the videos at my website. There is a link to my website in the info box. The address is www.freelance-teacher.com slash videos dot htm or you can just use the link in the info box. By the way, I also offer tutoring via Skype and you can find more information about that Skype tutoring service at my website. Thanks. But do you know what the component units of an amp are? Joules per second. That would be power. That's watts. Now, what does the current tell you in words? What would you say the current tells you in words? If there's a current of 5 amps. Oh, is it charge per second? That's right. What does it tell us in words? It tells us the rate that the charges are passing us. Yeah. It tells us the rate that the charges are moving, or how, how many charges are moving past us per second. I think it makes sense to say this is coulombs per second, charge per second, because amps is about charge, not directly about energy. What's the symbol for current? I. That's right. That's an important review of some key concepts here for current. It looks like you already answered part A correctly. Yeah. So we're going on to part B. Good. Let's folk do this like a unit conversion. So what are our target units? Charge or coulombs per second. And now we have to get some starting units over here. Um, we have. Let's start with meters per second, which is the V concept. If you look at the, uh, the, the note there, they told us that we can use V in our answer, right? Yeah. And what are the units for V? Meters per second. That seems like a good start, because at least that puts the seconds in the right place, right? We need seconds in the denominator, and this has seconds in the denominator. Right. But now... You want to get rid of meters? That's right. Well, let's replace meters with orbits. Orbits? You don't sound too thrilled about that, but let's see how that works. How many meters would there be in an orbit here? Oh, pi r squared. No, pi, two pi r. That's right. This would be the circumference. So two pi r meters. Good. And the advantage of that is that the meters will cancel. Now, let's think about what that is telling us to do in terms of our concepts here. So, what we're really doing here now, remember we started with V, because that was meters per second. Or maybe I should actually just write the V up here. We started with V meters per second, and now we have one orbit over 2 pi r. Uh -huh. But we still don't have coulombs per second. So, what's the, what's the unit we need to get rid of now? Orbits. And let's replace that with charge. One orbit is... So let's think about, uh, let's say that uh, we're focusing on this point here. Mm -hmm. Let's say so let's say the electron starts here. What's the charge on the electron? What symbol are we using for the charge on the electron? Let's say the electron made one orbit. How much charge would pass this point? Negative E. Yeah. Let's say the electron makes two orbits. Two negative E. Yeah. Suppose the electron made five orbits. Negative five E. Okay. So in one orbit, how many coulombs negative pass any particular point? Negative E. Yeah. That sounds 
drained. In each orbit, a charge of negative E passes, uh, goes through any particular point. So you get negative E over 2 pi r? Close, something I left out there. So based on what I have on the board, what can I cancel? You can cancel orbits. And what's left? Um, coulombs per second. What else is left? Oh, V? Yeah. So let's write down everything that's left now. V is left. What else? Um, negative E. Coulombs. And then over S to pi R. So we can amalgamate all the symbols over here and the units over here. Why is a V there? Why is there a V? Yeah. Well, remember we started with V meters per second. We started with the units of meters per second, right? Oh, V meters per second. So we started, we decided oh, to start yeah. with meters per second, but how many meters per second are there? Well, V meters per second. Right. V is the velocity. category. But anyway, this is a good uh, example of the usefulness of thinking in terms of unit conversion. So what we did here is we focused on what we wanted our target units to be, coulombs per second, and they told us to use R, V, and E. Well, V seems like a good starting point because it's got meters per second. So at least we put the seconds in the right place. Then we got rid of the meters by asking how many orbits in the meter. And then this was pretty tricky. We had to figure out how much charge passed every time the electron made an orbit. Well, every time the electron makes an orbit, I, uh, it, uh, a charge of negative E passes through. I've seen questions like that on exams. That would be a good question to, to hold on to. Okay. This, explained, this is one of the reasons why I'm always so gung-ho during the tutoring sessions on always trying to remember what the units are for each concept, because sometimes there's really no good way to solve a problem if you don't really know what the units are. If you don't know that amps are coulombs per second, uh -huh. it's pretty much impossible to solve this problem. There's no formula we can plug into here. This is not about plugging into a formula, it's about converting the units. These videos are offered on a pay what you like basis. You can pay for the use of the videos at my website. There is a link to my website in the info box. The address is www.freelance-teacher.com slash videos.htm or you can just use the link in the info box. By the way, I also offer tutoring via Skype, and you can find more information about that Skype tutoring service at my website. Thanks.